This is Fab 52, what could be Intel's big comeback moment. It's Fab 5 of 6 here in Chandler, Arizona, with over a million square feet of manufacturing cleanroom space. Producing the most advanced technology node that was developed and manufactured right here. High volume production is now officially underway here of Intel 18A, a node on par with Taiwan Semiconductor's most advanced chips, but without the big external customer base to back it up. After years of delays and missteps and an unprecedented move by the government to take a 10% stake in the company, Intel has got a lot to prove. So we got the first on-camera tour inside to take a deeper look. This factory, it works 24 by 7. After years of delays on previous chip nodes, new CEO Lip Bhutan took the helm in March. And since then, Intel has laid off 15% of its workforce, delayed its Ohio chip factory by at least four years, and paused projects in Germany and Poland, with Tan saying the company invested too much, too soon, without adequate demand. 50 miles north, TSMC has a huge new advanced chip factory of its own. So what about Intel's 18A will draw in the customers and reignite demand? This was supposed to be where they started to win that outside customer base. As we know, that hasn't happened yet. It's become an internal node. For now, Intel itself is the biggest customer making chips here, specifically its latest Intel Core Ultra 3 processor coming out on PCs in January. Dell, HP, Lenovo, Asus, Acer, Samsung. At the end of 2026, you'll see it all over the world. We went to Intel headquarters in Silicon Valley and its most advanced chip factory in Arizona to ask top executives about the latest chips, the stumbles along the way, and why this time Intel says it won't fail. 